YouTube, YouTube. 50 plus here. Hey guys, I am in uh, Lancaster at the Swift Transport Orientation. I'm currently in the hotel room. I got here, actually, today is Wednesday, and I got here on Sunday night. I spent the weekend working with my boys. Uh, I'm real proud of them. They got things going good, so I don't have to worry about that business. They're working pretty good. So um, uh, I'm here in, in Lancaster at the hotel that uh, Swift provides you um, a, a place to stay, and they actually get you uh, uh, lunch. There's supposed to be a breakfast wink wink at this hotel not five star not five star but we're only here for three nights you can handle it you know we can take it I mean when you when you're in the um, in the school they put you in a, a hotel they, they put you in a hotel okay but when you come to orientations for a short period of time so they put you in a hotel okay it's a place to sleep all right so um, they're gonna get you uh, lunch and the so-called breakfast here at the at the hotel is um, subpar to say the least yeah I don't even consider breakfast it's like some toast and you get to pick the brand of toast you want either one week old bread, two week old bread, or bread that's already turned colors. So take your pick. You can put some jelly on it. Okay? That's what they got. And some coffee. So when you get to school on the first day, all of you guys and gals that went uh, to the Swift Training Academy. I'm telling you, man, they got it going on at the academy, man. They got it right. So when you leave, she's going to give you a packet. And in that packet contains everything you need when you come to orientation. You, your stuff is on target when you leave the uh, the school. Man, it got you, man. That place takes care of business. When we got here on Monday, I spent the whole day sitting at the table in the classroom with other guys who went to the, to the same school with me. They come out the same week that I did. And we're all sitting there, and then there's maybe 20 people uh, in addition that either transferring or coming here from another company or have some experience or, or whatever. They still got to go through the hair follicle test, the urine test. They got to go through all of that crap, man. We sat there all day on the first day doing <laughs> nothing from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. We got better pizza. It was a Papa John's. It was better pizza than the uh, cardboard stuff you got on your first day at the academy. Okay. So the second day today, we actually got Chinese food. They're going to give you a menu so you can choose what you want. And it was actually pretty good. So I give them credit for that. I even got some leftover. I'm going to eat for dinner. So it was pretty good. And today we went over the company policy and all that good jazz. So tomorrow was the final day. We're supposed to check out in the morning before we go back to the orientation. And I don't have much information because they're not giving out you know, what I would consider forward thinking information. They're just letting us know to check out of the hotel and go back to um, school or the orientation in the morning. And uh, I'm sure if you've made it this far, you've already uh, been hired. Uh, and then we're supposed to be assigned our mentors tomorrow. Now, whether or not we leave with the mentor tomorrow, I have no clue. That's the forward thinking information I'm saying I'm not getting. 
It may be by reason. So I'm not frustrated with everything, but it's still early in the week. If I want to go home, I can go back home um, for some time because there's been rumor and you lead as much into the rumor as you'd like, but um, that it might be a little short on mentors. So I don't know if the mentor is gonna be here when it's time for us to leave. So I don't know, I may be here for a couple more days. I don't know. In that case, we would then check back into the rooms. So um, the process has been okay. No real complaints. You know, I wished that the, um, the people who came from their academy, knowing that those, the people coming from the academy was going to have all day one stuff handled, they could have let us come on day two. Then I could have at least spent another extra day at home. But, you know, the processes are what they are. And, you know, there may be good reason for that, you know, so I don't knock it. So uh, I'll, I'll post again uh, tomorrow evening to kind of let you guys know what happened after the final day of orientation, okay? And, uh, and I'll try to give you some more useful information than I have in today's video, but there's just not a whole lot of newness to report. Um, but uh, tomorrow's the last day, and I'll let you guys know, and I'll let you know about the next phase, which is the mentoring phase, starting tomorrow. After tomorrow, um, if they get me the mentor and they don't leave out right away and I have enough time to post a video, then I'm going to give some detailed information that they gave me um, for the orientation so you guys can know what's going on with the orientation, okay? A little bit more than just the processes, which is what I'm telling you now. So um, hopefully I can give you some better information, some more detailed information after tomorrow. Um, and I do have a roommate, and uh, it's been pretty cool. So, as usual, guys, like, please, subscribe, please, so you can follow this 50-plus trucker's journey as he becomes a professional truck driver. Please like, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you.